All right, so we're gonna go find a book. All right, so hey guys, so tonight we're going to talk about another book, a photo book called The Wall. So The Wall is a book by Joseph Kudelka, who is a Czech photographer. One of his more familiar bodies of work is a book called Gypsies. And The Wall, as I mentioned, which is another body of his work, is, is a bit more uh, recent. All the images in this book were taken between 2008 and 2012. They're part of a bigger project involving multiple photographers documenting the area between and around kind of Israel and Palestine where they have constructed this large wall that is really kind of very politically charged and has had a real impact on the, the people in that area. A couple of other interesting things about this book. One, it is all black and white and panoramic images. And there's a documentary called Shooting the Holy Land, which isn't necessarily directly about this book, but it's about uh, Joseph and his trips, uh, visits, uh, where he took the pictures that make up this book. And so that's actually a fantastic documentary. If you get a chance, check it out. So I'll throw a link in the video as well. It's certainly worth taking a look at. So it's really interesting to see into his process and how he engages with the environment to create these images that go into this book and that were part of that movie. Uh, additionally, there's a great link to a short monologue that he gives on the subject of this book. So I'll also post a link to that probably in the comments section below. Based on the documentary, Shooting the Holy Land, it looks like the cameras that were used to make the images for this book were the Fuji GX617, which is a 6x17 format camera, um, quite the beast, with a whole four images per roll of 120 film. And then the X-Pan, the Hasselblad X-Pan, does seem that all the images in this book were then taken with film. With that, we'll go ahead and flip through the book, and I'll give you some comments uh, as we go through it. So I really like that they included this timeline, which gives a good overview of the wall, kind of when it was built, a lot of the changes along the way, as well as some of the challenges with that. And it really gives a good sense of the political charged nature of this wall. this image because you start to get a really clear picture of the impact that the wall has on the landscape surrounding it and just how drastically different it is from one side of the wall to the other. You also see this wall kind of stretching out across the landscape which is a common picture not surprisingly or a common theme uh, throughout the book. favorite images in the book and I really like this image because it feels like it starts to connect the impact that the wall has not only on the landscape but also on the people in that area and I think this just really comes out in this particular image. It's also one of the few images in the book that have people clearly visible and that are part of the subject. <music> image. I don't know what it is about this one. Maybe it's the contrasting and the scene 
Maybe it's the geometric shapes from the barbed wire. Maybe it's just the fact that you know that he really had to work it and put it on the line for that shot. So this is another image that speaks to me. I think it's because it takes this ordinary thing that we probably all have in the roundabout and builds up what looks like a prison around it. You know, something so ordinary or something so extraordinary. scale of this wall. Uh, I think without this image it's really pretty difficult to understand the scale and of course the composition is incredible. I like this image because it provides that hint of conflict and then the shape of the tank tread also kind of mirrors the shape of the wall in some aspects. This is an interesting image because it's actually a little village that's built particularly for military drills. And this is one of those areas where Kudelka went back several times to photograph it to get just the right image. One of the other images with a person in the composition and part of the subject and really just illustrates the impact this has all had on the people in this area. incredible book and I think Aperture did an incredible job with the printing. All right so that's really it for The Wall by Joseph Kudelka. Uh, I think it's an incredible book. Highly recommend that you pick it up or at least take a look through it and I'd also really recommend that you check out the documentary Shooting the Holy Land. So both are just fantastic. So let me know what you think, leave some comments, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and let me know if there's any other books you'd like me to flip through or do some quick reviews of. So that's it. All right, thanks guys. Peace.